Hi, my name is Stan Rogel, and I have a poem in the Poet to Poet Anthology uh, with Garnica Press. I wrote a poem for Leonard Cohen, and the reason I chose Leonard Cohen is because uh, when I was uh, in my teens in high school, uh, I was pretty typical. I hated poetry, knew nothing about it. And uh, one day we were doing the poetry class, which generally lasted about a week back then, and a very young, uh, beautiful, blonde, hippie type. Uh, teacher uh, showed up uh, to sit in on our class for a day and uh, she was uh, talking about poetry and part of what she did uh, during the class was to put on a uh, Leonard Cohen album and we sat there and listened to uh, Leonard Cohen and singing Suzanne and explained how poetry and songs uh, were very similar and I felt at the end that uh, if somebody uh, you know that uh, gorgeous and uh, uh, and, and Young, as well, was a Leonard Cohen fan and a poetry fan, then there must be something to it. So I, I started to take it a little bit more, uh, more seriously. Um, and then uh, later on, I found out that uh, Leonard Cohen wrote two different versions of Suzanne. Uh, in the one, he says, uh, because she touched his perfect body with her mind, is for the song, because he said everything has to be complete. But as a poem, he wrote it as because she's touched her perfect body with her mind, and it opens up the, uh, the poem a lot more to, to interpretation. And uh, so I, I appreciated that that small change could uh, show a difference between a, a pop song and, uh, and a poem. Suzanne holds the mirror uh, for Leonard Cohen. Epigram from Leonard Cohen, because she's touched her perfect body with her mind. The difference between pop and poetry makes for a thoroughly modern milieu. The mirror held up to the self-image and no room for any other narcissistic bent on resurrection to crack the circle. Oh, lend her a coin, Lazarus, who has filled her pockets with pennies, raised from the eyes of the dead. The whole town impresses, and the joint fairly bogarts with the buzz, as we'll always have Paris, takes on fresh meaning, bright new spirits, not unlike Suzanne, who, times past, normal, would have faded to a haunt, face caved, tits fallen, frame packed with a surplus forty ungodly pounds. Resurface fit as any saint whistled along the boulevard haute couture, buffed, tanned, botoxed, nipped and tucked, toting bite-sized mutts, designer cell phones, barely clad in, rags and feathers lifted from Dolce and Gabbana counters. They are the model of perfection, apart any black-weeded troubadour with desires, to eat each other out, whether on a bed of tea and oranges or some other coarse romantic rot. Listen, singer breaks like the wind, crucifixion in hand, his throat a plague of frogs, his club foot dangled in the hell-spent river. Look, his brass eye opens to the world, and it is no blank reflection that procures sailors to dance and songbirds to sing in his anus.